Hey guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a Mayuki Tyla bead bangle bracelet. So I have this 32 gauge wire here. Um, I also have a strand of the Tyla, Tila, however you want to pronounce it, beads. I'm just going to cut the end here. And from here, um, what I'm going to be doing is pulling out a strand of about a foot of the 32 gauge wire. I'm going to begin stringing it through the one of the little openings here on the bangle. So you can see I just inserted it through the little hole there. And I'm going to make a little knot. Really the knot is not all that necessary if you are able to just wrap it tightly, it should stay just fine. Um, so I'm just going to get this kind of secure on here, kind of going through the hole, wrapping it around some like this, and I'm gonna wrap it a few more times to make sure that it's secure. I'm kind of twisting the wire there's not really a right or wrong way to do this. As long as the wire is secure, that's what is most important. So I'm going to just kind of use my pliers to help with this. Kind of use it to put it back through the hole there. Let me speed up here, get this finished up. And I'm gonna trim off the extra and I'm ready to begin putting my beads on. So the idea is that I'm going to run one single strand of these beads against the flat metal surface of the bangle. So I'm going to begin putting them on one or a couple at a time. These particular beads have two holes in them. So because they have two holes, the nice thing is that I'm going to run the wire through one side, put them all on, and then I'm gonna go back the opposite direction through the other hole, and it will help keep the beads on and so that they lay flat. So let me get these beads on here. And you can see I'm just quickly adding them on now that I have them all on just enough to fill up that space right there um, I kind of feel like this extra one is a, makes it a little too long so let me remove that one and now what I'm going to do is just secure the wire again using the little hole that is already there let me just insert the wire into the hole, pull it through there. I'm gonna unhook my bracelet. There we go. I didn't want that to stay hooked on because if I did, then I risk actually wrapping the wire around it and then I can't open it because it would be like secured. Um, so I'm gonna finish up wrapping the wire here and get it all secure. And now we are ready to begin feeding the wire through the second hole, just going the opposite direction. And what this is gonna do is, like I said, it's gonna help keep those beads on so that they lay flat and they don't flip over kind of off of the metal plate. And you just have to kind of, kind of, uh, finagle it through there, kind of back and forth. And it's really not too difficult. You can see there, I've got it all the way through. And now the last step. Again, we are going to wrap the wire, inserting it through the hole and kind of wrapping it around again to make sure that those beads are really secure and in place. So 
I'm just wrapping it several times around through the hole and back over the whole plate and around. I'm going to trim off the extra and just kind of flatten the end down. And that is it. Super easy. So they make these bangles in different colors. You can get silver, rose gold, and so on. Um, I will include links to where you can purchase these as well as the beads. So that is it for this tutorial. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.